Good evening all you alchemists and welcome back to Alchem Moto and this evening we have got a special for you we have got an evening ride how often do I get to ride in the evening and the setting sun not very often due to uh, work obviously and at times I have bloody finishing at home but tonight we have made it and we are currently just going past Hollingworth Lake and we are heading to a place called Hebden Bridge to the bridge map uh, <laughs> bridge match. We are heading to a place called Hebden Bridge to the Bridge Rats MCC Tuesday night do and uh, through good invitation from Cyclone and uh, we'll see a little bit more of that in a bit and a few more of the crew so uh, let's get rolling after the intro. Yeah, so that's Hollingworth Lake and in front is another biker pub called the Wine Press so you can see there's a few bikes out there, very very popular on an evening, on a summer's night all sorts of makes of bike you get there as well so not just Harleys, a lot of your, your race crew, your crotch rockets but I've not been up this way for a while is heading up over towards Crag Vale so for those of you local in the vicinity that watch me and it doesn't matter again what you ride and you do not know but everyone knows this around here but if you don't it's up towards Crag Vale so we're in the Milton Road district uh, just sort of near Rochdale-ish way and we'll be heading over towards the Yorkshire side of things over the hills right in front and we are currently 20 minutes from destination I don't know who's going to be there, how many are going to be left there who has arrived and who's left before I get there but we'll soon find out so it's uh, been two weeks since I put on that last little vlog and we've had since the glass and dock where we had the 30 degree riding we've had the storms come and the polar lows and turn that summer into hard autumn rain so it's not been very good for riding But like I said, what it did do is give me an opportunity to finish off Shep's tank, which, uh, like I said, that had been languishing on the shelf in the garage for 10 months. Now, one thing is at least it gave the base coat and the... Well, actually, we did clear coat it and then flat it off, and it's been since like that since about yeah, 10 months ago. So at least we know that base layer was hardened so of course that brings us to the next set which will be a sort of interim one on the channel will feature some of the the custom paintwork on the next set being done in between what's left of the ride outs then of the season if you want to call it a season you know you guys know I try and ride into the frosty bits until it gets too cold um, but we're a long way from that yet so this coming Saturday we are currently this is a Tuesday evening I don't know when this vlog is going online it might be three four five days out of touch uh, but we have got a bike show there's actually two bike shows uh, coming up which I am hoping to attend in a bit but for now we are heading more out into the open country which is always the favourite part of my rides and 
probably the most favourite part of yours too by all that means by all means twist them my words today or tonight so some fabulous views up up the up the hill as they say in Yorkshire fabulous views up the hill and then obviously on the top of here there is a left I can't even speak tonight the left turn I won't edit these out it's too much trouble the left turn then into Crag Vale There was a story about this hill once with me and uh, my good lady and we were going to a party and there was at a scout up somewhere in the hills and this road was absolutely in a snow blizzard and it was like a mini avalanche off the side of this hill we could see that pub you see this drop on the left hand side the snow had blown over here and we were hanging over this edge round about here, there where that post is and uh, we had to abandon ship and get down off the hill leave the vehicle there till the next morning till the council had created it quite scary actually so here we are, we're on the top and we've got the reservoir to the left as we take the left turn to Crag Vale Always a really bleak reservoir that. First gear instead of second. a good picture well, we need to make up a little bit of lost time it's a little bit a little bit bumpy on this road but what of you ahead folks what of you ahead gotta be a little bit careful like you said see that lift will be off the seat it's not the best of roads so as much as you want to twist the throttle and, and enjoy it He's certainly a tester. time off the seat than on it on this road <laughs> so yeah as I was saying then this weekend then I should be if the weather holds off to Wales to a bike show custom cars American muscle cars the usual thing so we'll keep that one under the lid and uh, hopefully I'll have that soon on the channel Jesus Christ! Whoa! See that dip in the road before I hit it then! <laughs> Come on, Mythamroid or Mythamroid Council or whatever! No, there are bloody potholes all over the place! <laughs>
so this place at the bottom of here uh, has flooded quite a few times over the, the last few years and flooded quite badly and a lot of the residents a lot of local shops have uh, been subject to four or five feet underwater in places the big passenger pack keeps falling down those clips are shite and there's one of the the lads we're meeting down here actually has a, a shop down here and uh, he's been subject to flooding a couple of times a oh, bloody GoPro hey. you don't mind the odd bit of rough road you can see where they patched it here but when you've got that many it takes the enjoyment out of it a little bit apart from the stunning views and this is a rare ride where I'm not clipping the GoPro as well I usually as you know we'll clip or we'll fast forward to different points Purposely, purpose. See, I can't even speak again. Purposely set the record after putting a bit of motion potion in the tank, knowing that it was going to be literally 25 minutes ride to the destination. And let's see how true that is on the uh, the edits. crossing the river now that has absolutely flooded all new defence walls been put up and for once heading into the evening sun just seeing a few bikes coming away the other way now and I don't know whether any of them are from, uh, from our bunch or not like I said it is a bit of a drag for me in the evening nearly an hour's ride
suggesting it's up this way. Who knows? All right. Hiya. It's over 20 years ago since I've been on the bar. <laughs> Maggie, your turn next Tuesday, love. Don't bend over. <laughs> Look who it is! Look who it is! It's ship! Get a bit of muck on that. Put a grease on it. I'm all about his bike, I'm like, top! His bike, I like it, I like that gleaming. I know he's great for that. I'm doing it out of protest. It's gorgeous. It's old too, isn't it? Is that the only way? We'll get out on a ride, that would be the only way. Yeah, let us know. What's the bars you can have them? On that? Chrome. On that? Stainless steel ones. I've got some of our tea. Have you? Yeah, it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. I will do it So that was that then folks, Bridge Rats MCC, it's a good little meet that, I didn't really do much talking, just a, bit, a little bit of filming, see the crew, nice to see Stuart though, I've not seen him since Scotland. First time in a long time riding into dusk. I actually see the clocks for once on my uh, speedo. That must be the bicycle meat place. Amazing where the time goes now and the, the summer's drawing to a close and the nights are rolling in and you gone are the days now 11 o'clock before the darkness and uh, enjoying yourself and having a pint and then before you know it you're heading home in the dark and it's still early evening but sometimes nice because like I say it's a long time since you know I've ridden into the the dusk so to speak so uh, it does make a change 
you know, tonight was just a quick chance to get out after work over the top to meet some of the crew and uh, have a bit of a chat and a catch up. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Something different. And again, we have got uh, what could turn out to be an epic day this coming weekend. And a few other things lined up in the near future and uh, a couple of mods on my bike a couple of changes on my bike so we'll uh, hit you up and do that on the channel as well and a few more other things rolling in as well in the pipeline so uh, we're just building up quite a few little jobs to keep the Alcamoto workshop busy through autumn and winter this year they're heading back up on Cragvale again, back over the top and it was 21 degrees when I got home from work. They could catch you out because you can drop seven or eight degrees easily over the tops of here and I'm certainly glad I put the extra layers on. So out of Calderdale and then heading back towards Milne Road. So remember folks, this is the first time you're watching El Camoto, this is a little teaser tonight. Check back in the back catalogue for some more epic rides out and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button. Like and share and please comment on the video. Let's interact. I'll always get back to you. See what your thoughts are. But on that note, thanks for coming along for this ride tonight. But for now Alcamoto is signing out. See you later folks.